Hi, today I'd like to show you how simple and easy it is to make a rotary cutting die using Alphacore steel rules. First step is just to go up here and say make rotary die sheet. Then the next step is to put the wood core around it. I'm going to make this job a single core so I just go over here and right click over the top of it say make this standard. I want the core length to be 60 inches. I click OK puts it in to the core and it gives you your center lines um, both X and Y um, throws up a dialogue here that asks you your machine cylinder size the wood thickness that you're using the number of spokes that's on the uh, rotary laser that will be bolting the core into bolt separation I just go ahead and click OK there next step is to put the breaker knives in here or chopper knives uh, we can I'm just going to use simple border but we can cant the breaker knives to uh, break up the scrap and over here it asks you the size four inches square cant them a quarter inch um, so we, this down here will tell you how far uh, around the outside of the die you want the breaker knives go we've got set for an inch and a half so now I just uh, point and click where I want to put breaker knives in. If you notice down in the bottom left corner down here, it asks me the distance that I want to inset from the edge of the rule. I've got it set for a quarter inch right now. i just go around real quick, click here. Now the other thing I can do is hold the shift key down and just insert uh, at a given point that I click like this. And just go up to the rotary dies and say accept chopper knives and brings my wood core back on. And if you notice too I can go under the data manager and I can put a name in here. So I'm going to call this off core for the customer name. I'm going to get a job number one two three four die number. Um, we'll call this for the IDEC demo. And you can see it automatically update all the uh, text that's on the cutting die. Now the next thing we're going to do is uh, do the rotary notching on it. Um, this is real neat. It, you can right click here and say select chain and that will select a logical path for the rotary rule to go in into that piece and then I can notch that chain and what that does is it will put in uh, the teeth for the back part of the rotary rule so you can just knock off a tooth where you want the bridges to be and if uh, a situation happens like this where you wouldn't want to put a bridge there, you just use the shift key to deselect it and then select the one next to it and then right click and say accept show notches so it's real easy, just right click you can see notch chain, hit the return key accept that, if you want to do your horizontal rule you just right click, say horizontal notch say select everything that's horizontal this is going to put in a uh, every four inches a 7 16 notch click OK another tool I'd like to show you is the edge cut tool that you just click near like a slot and it will break the rule there so you can put this in as being the, the curved piece of rule right click say select chain sees that as a piece of rule right mouse click down the bottom here and say notch slot and you can see it puts one tooth right there in the center for bending if I want to move these I can just click and deselect these two select the ones next to it right mouse click say accept show notches it's that easy once I'm done with that, I just go ahead and say finish notching.
And that brings my wood core back onto the screen. Now the next step is to put the bolt pattern on. So I go here to add bolt pattern. And then I select the, the pattern that I want to uh, take. And then we have a rotary bolt duplicate pattern where I can just easily click here and duplicate the pattern all the way across the die board. If I want to select any random uh, bolts, just hold the shift key down and click on those. I'll do something like this maybe. And then I just hit the return key and it uh, deletes all the bolts that are in there. If I see one that I don't like, like this one here, I can go back and get rid of it real easy just by selecting it. So we've got our bolts in there. Now we need to tell where the spokes are going to go for the rotary laser. So I use the collar tool, click on the center, and typically the machines have four collars. So click on those. And what will happen is the rotary laser will drill these holes first. Well, first it'll ask you to place the collars in the correct locations, and then it'll drill uh, these bolts first so you can bolt the, bolt the core into the machine. Then the next step is to put some hand holes on here. So we've got a hand hole tool that you can just Use a drafting assistance, come up and drag from the top to the bottom. I'll put one right here. And it's easy to move these around. Slide this over a little bit. And then we can put the travel arrows in there. The tool for doing that. And this will etch on a laser. And that's pretty much it. That's all the process. Um, as you can see, um, pretty fast, pretty simple. This is about ready to go out to the uh, rotary laser and that's just a one click. If you'd like more information or a live demo of this, um, would be happy to give it to you. I can be reached at 800-862-0795. My name's Mike Collins. I'm at extension 4102. Thanks for your time.